Hey, back again with new video, guys. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath FX Solutions. This is Xiaomi Mi 11X, or the Poco F3, or the Redmi K40. Custom ROM reviews back with another OS here, Rising OS, Android version 14 here, version 3.2. May 5th, 2024 is the security patch. Vendor security patch is February 1, 2024. Base band version you can read. Kernel version is 4.19.246. No kernel has been used. Build date is June 8th. 2024 and build number is this one this is regarding settings panel and we'll change it to general mode here yeah that's how the volume panel i'm getting very good haptic feedback here that's really good and these are the quick settings toggles what we can get in this particular rom and in the edit section there are few more if you want you can drag and add them if you don't want do the vice versa again this power button as you can see and settings panel you can move it from here which is cool in my opinion the ui is really really good i haven't made this kind of ui for me Linux as of now in my channel check out and the camera application here you get this kind of camera application here video support up to 4k 60 that's also good in recent times i haven't seen this kind of camera application for me 11x in custom roms and dialer again you get a basic google dialer here and it asking me to give it as a, a default dialer i am searching is there any alternate dialer here no but still it's asking it has to be set as a default dialer anyhow and if you press and hold here again you will get that wallpaper and style and lock screen customization isn't that no no and wallpapers wise it's next level guys you get all the nothing wallpapers mid journey pixel super fan rising us wallpapers 2.0 and other things also you'll be getting here i really liking it but for some reason lock screen customizations is not working here themed icons and app grid is fine here and if i go into launcher again it's a picture launcher pixel launcher other things are gonna work fine here yeah let's see some results what i got in this particular room guys let's start with the anti to benchmark results as you can see 8 lakh 39,826 for the score i got we'll do one thing recent yeah from here i can show you better yeah you guys see the scores 4 degrees celsius is the temperature rise and 5 percentage of battery has been dropped now this is the version new version of anti 2 has been released and i'm using that your mouse swiping is working anyhow 1130 is a single score 3095 is a multi score Linux 4.19.246 no kernel and version 14 and device will be not certified by default but you need to enable this options i'll be showing that within a while enable gmf spoof then you can see the magic here see it is profile getting passed not just that play store is also certified here and here sdr 10 support is there and level 1 certification also is there as you can see and this all read rate speed test with graph and numericals and this is the internet speed test i have 200 mbps vital fiber connection it's pulling up to 240 which is fine in my opinion and the charging turbo charging support is there you guys can see around 11 45 am it was 65 percent and 11.56 it is 87 percent isn't not a fast charging 33 watt charging support is available in this particular rom guys i haven't faced any issues regarding this particular rom now moving to settings here you can actually personalize your device these are customizations as you can see the interface looks different but customizations are very similar to what we can get in other roms show time and info okay there's a lock screen and other customizations you can check out here us style also you can change it for example if i want it to vivid now it's in vivid whatever you want you can change them and toolbox again you get all these options here only you'll get enable jmf spoof just enable that then your device will get certified unlimited photos by default it's turned on and three finger screenshot again that gesture you can give it to anything else also 
what's new you get all this options guys you can check out that will be given in the description too and the sound again you get all this customizations you guys can see these are the customizations you can expect from this particular rom and that's it now moving into actual settings this is how the actual settings looks like it's smooth and responsive here we'll go into some system here okay gestures you get both the option to increase the fill length and radius hence you can use one handed mode here that hasn't turned on yeah now you can see it's easy and convenient way to use that one handed mode here that i really liking it and other settings in the system nothing here yeah dcm dimming is given high brightness mode options are given clear speaker option is given no direct sound settings though anyhow and location assisted gps is also given to save the battery turn it off but it is necessary for you then you need to enable both the location also sound and vibration again you get all these options here vibration and haptics you will get the intensity and even the patterns and that's what i'm saying no direct sound settings not even a dolby atmos here battery again battery life is good you also get battery optimization battery information battery stats you can see from your healthy charge if you want you can do that and you can keep the thresholds here optimized charging is also given lot more options in the battery saver even you will get extreme battery saver too i'm really liking it the speeds and this is the other gestures you get it and into the security and privacy you get both face and fingerprint unlock and also app lock is installed let me show the fingerprint unlock first as you can see even the on always on display looks like this and now let's show the face unlock as you can see it's also very much fast to unlock your smartphone using face and fingerprint unlock and the sounds and everything is really good in my opinion in the display settings again dark theme you will get that pure black turn amulet dark mode i really like it that option should be there and light is the colors i can give it both say whatever you want x reality engine is given refresh rate adaptive refresh rate is given tap to wake tap to sleep is given that's it i think so i have explained everything here that smoothness and the ui i really liking it i haven't faced any issues regarding this particular room let's see bgm how it handle and wind up this video you guys can see the graphic settings is set to smooth plus extreme here no extreme plus option i haven't found any option to enable that 60 fps gameplay is possible here yeah that was fine here Sixty FPS gameplay is fine, but they would have been given ninety here. Yeah, that was fine. The gaming experience. I haven't faced any issues here, and as I always say, just not the ROM or kernel. will make you better gameplay there are several factors that make you play better in the game and also the smartphone itself is here you should understand is powered by snapdragon 870 there are so many superior hardware smartphone are available those can outperform you very much easier that also you should understand and we'll come back here that's the gaming experience and everything is really good guys i haven't faced any issues regarding this particular rom if you have any specific questions regarding this particular rom you can comment down in the comment section and if you still not subscribe to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button to uh, that's it guys this is sampath will meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now sorry one more thing is dolby atmos is there 
but direct sound settings are not given that's the thing anyhow we'll meet with another interesting one and let's keep swimming bye for now